Jeffrey Epstein accusers are now filing lawsuits against the late Palm Beach sex offenders estate for abuse they suffered as children. Some states have what's called a look back window, which allows victims of childhood assault to bring cases after the statute of limitations has expired. Florida does not. I-team reporter Danielle Wall has more on the push for a look back window here. I would. I would do it all over again. When Ashley Foster watches this video from five years ago, she feels a mix of pain and pride. I was scared. I was really nervous of what would happen if I did say something. Pain from reliving sexual abuse she endured as a child. Pride because she's testifying in front of state lawmakers to make it possible for other victims to hold their attackers responsible. I couldn't even prosecute them. I couldn't prosecute them at all because statute of limitations had ran out and they had all the evidence they needed, but yet they still couldn't do anything. A family member started abusing Ashley when she was 13 years old. It took years for her to be able to report it to Boynton Beach Police. They investigated, but they had to deliver the devastating news that the statute of limitations had expired just days before she reported the crimes. That shocked me at first, and then I was really upset, and I was like, that's, that's not right. Ashley's testimony helped reform statute of limitations rules in Florida. Florida, giving other victims more time to come forward. Um, I just look at that like, wow, that was me? <laughs> How long ago? And it makes me sad at the same time, the fact that I even had to go through that. Today, Ashley is one of many child sex abuse victims in Florida whose cases are in limbo. Florida did eliminate the statute of limitations for those crimes, but the law was not retroactive. So victims like Ashley cannot seek justice. 16 states and Washington, D.C. passed additional legislation called a look back window, giving survivors an opportunity to file a civil suit in cases where the statute has expired. Florida is not one of them. This year, New York passed the Child Victims Act, which included a look back window. It gave a woman named Jennifer Arose an opportunity to sue the estate of accused child predator Jeffrey Epstein. In an op-ed in the New York Times, she wrote, for years I I felt crushed by the power imbalance between Epstein with his enablers and me. The Child Victims Act finally offers a counterweight. I hope more states pass similar laws. It would not surprise me if there were 50, 60, 70 victims here in Florida who have not yet come forward. West Palm Beach attorney Jack Scarola believes there are dozens of women like Jennifer here in South Florida abused by Jeffrey Epstein so long ago that the statute of limitations has expired. He represents one of those women who, like Ashley Foster, was crushed to learn her case could not go forward. It is a tough realization. The emotional trauma that Epstein's victims have been put through has been enormous. We've been silenced for too long. Florida State when Senator Lauren say, Book, an abuse survivor herself, so is proposing look back legislation right, right now. And we need to give those survivors their power and their voice back, and I think this hopefully will do that. Surprisingly, these bills have faced strong opposition in other states. According to this joint legal study, the Catholic Church has spent more than $10 million since 2011 lobbying against statute of limitation reform laws in eight states. In New York alone, the church spent nearly $3 million opposing the Child Victims Act. We reached out to the Florida Conference of Catholic Bishops to ask if they'd oppose Senator Book's bill. They say they're still reviewing it, adding, in some states, the state Catholic conferences have opposed window bills. In others, they took no position. They need to have a look back window because for those that want to come forward, even like myself, can. And that's the justice that people need. If Florida lawmakers take up Senator Book's bill, Ashley Foster plans to testify because years of therapy and advocacy have helped heal her, but it's not the same as having your day in court. Yeah, it's there and no, it's not going away. Those feelings, those emotions, those, the feel of touch that you had is not going to go anywhere. It's, it's still going to be there and time doesn't heal that. If a look back window passes in Florida, the advocacy group Child USA expects at least 1,000 civil claims to be filed in Florida. We'll keep you updated on that bill as it goes through the legislature. Danielle Waugh, CBS 12 News.